All right. Well, so you're probably wondering what this is all about. Um, I am running out of tequila. So this is pure agave espelon tequila made in uh, Mexico. So um, this is actually a... Uh, you can find this in most liquor stores that I've found, at least in the Massachusetts area. I can't really say for anywhere else, but... Espelon is, has be, quickly become one of my favorite cheap tequilas to make margaritas with or whatever. It's a great mixing tequila. It is 10 times better than Jose Cuervo, if anyone wants that. Also, this label art is to die for. So there, there you go. So anyways, as you can see, I am, I am running out. Um, so I went and got myself the, the bigger um bigger, better Espelon. Um, this one is, looks like I got, got a gallon here. Um, so anyways, what I am doing, 1.75 liters, my bad. 80 proof. Good stuff. All right. So the plan is, is I'm going to be taking this wonderful infuser ball that I actually bought to make cold brew with, and I'm going to be taking these chilies that I just washed. As you can see, I I'm wearing gloves because uh, you don't want to get chili oil in your uh, you don't want to get chili oil in your uh, uh, in your eyes or on your face or anyways oil gets everywhere so don't don't do that so alrighty so what we're gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be chopping the heads off of these and then putting them let's see if I can do this one-handed oh hmm Yep, there we go. Alrighty, so the ball has a nice rubber boot around the edge here. And as you can see, I can just pop them right in here, pour some tequila right over it, cover the chilies, and let it sit. Um, I don't think you need to refrigerate it because it's alcohol. It's 80 proof. So it is what it is, right? So let me just put this down for a second. This is how often I... This is how often I do this. So what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna chop the heads off of these chilies. There we go. Mmm. Can't wait to get this spicy tequila, honestly. Lovely. And then last but not least. Awesome. And we're going to be popping them in here. One, two, three. Just let them settle to the bottom here. So if you want to see what I'm doing, I've just popped them into the bottom of here. I'm going to pop it in. And I actually use this to make cold brewed coffee because I'm insane. So we're just going to pour that in. I'm going to pour that in. We're going to make some lovely, lovely, let's see if I can do this, I can't really. And we'll still have some left over, especially if it sucks, right? It'll be a waste of tequila, but this is like a $40 bottle and you can't go wrong. Let's see if I can get you guys to see this. There we go. We're just going to pour it right over. We're going to pour it right over until it covers it. Lovely. Awesome. And as you can see, it's now covering them. So that actually, uh, that was most of the bottle. I shouldn't be surprised really, but good news is we have some left over. We have some left over, so it's not a big, big, big deal. Alrighty. I will let you folks know how this tastes. I'm going to let this steep 